What comes to your mind when you hear the word winter? Do you imagine an open field that's covered in snow? Do you think about a cozy night in front of the fireplace with your family? Well, when I hear the word winter, I think about death. I recently participated in the MFGG Winter Fan Game Jam. Yes, there is the keyword. If you don't know what a game jam is, it is basically a game making contest about developing a game about a certain theme in a specific time frame. I competed against people from all around the world and it was a lot of fun. The theme for this game jam was under pressure. And we had 5 days or 120 hours to create, polish and upload a game to the Gems itch.io page. Luckily I checked my itch.io for the first time in a long while and saw that this game jam just started and I thought, well you have holidays now and the game jam will be over before the whole family comes together for Christmas. So I started planning what the game should be about what it should be a fan game of, and what the game loop should be. As any professional game developer does, I searched my entire Steam library to make a game about. And there it was. Undertale. I don't know what you're thinking, but aren't you working on an Undertale fan game already? Yes, that is correct, and you can download the primitive version from its Game Jolt page in the description if you want to. But I'm currently remastering the game, so stay tuned for that. Undertale just seemed to be a game where I had some experience about and it would be easy to manage in the given time frame. Because of that experience I actually finished the game earlier than I expected and had lots of time to test and polish. One of my friends from school and my sister had to bear through it as well but I think it turned out the way I wanted it in the end. Now as I've already said, I wanted to have a winter theme because it is the winter jam. And I already had a good idea of what the given theme under pressure would be. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. From here on out the entire video will spoil the experience. So if you haven't played the game before, please leave now and play the game. You can even play it in browser so you don't have to download it. And the game is maximum 7 minutes long, so... Okay, I'm assuming you're all still here anyway, or have left a long time ago. Let's move on. The main protagonist in this game is Frisk or Kara or however you want to call him. You're moving around through Snowden and you're in this closed off, very open area at the very beginning. Yeah, like you can't go anywhere. Up, down, both sides cliff and uh, on the left there is an invisible wall which prevents you from going back the way you story-wise came from. In the background you hear distant wind and you see snowflakes falling from the sky. And the only way to go is right. So you go there while it gets more narrow. There's this little platform that I actually took the game's thumbnail on because I don't know, I, I thought it kind of looked cool. Once you get over this threshold, the game will enter a cutscene where all of the snowflakes kind of stop and begin to twirl around like this. This is the main enemy of the game, Winter. Yes, it is actually called Winter. Now this entire area is absolutely irrelevant to the gameplay. This is just for world building. Where am I? What am I doing? Who am I? Why didn't I encounter the enemy? That is Winter. And on the other hand, it is for atmosphere. You can't go anywhere because everything is closed off, it is snowing, the wind is howling. You Actually, even in this area alone, you kind of begin to feel cold, which is what I was aiming for. And even stuff like how the path gets more narrow is for atmosphere. You could say that it helps to set you under pressure. Within the fight, you have the typical Undertale fight options. Fight, act, item and mercy. Fight activates the fighting prompt and no matter where you hit, you always miss because <laughs> they've ever tried hitting a snowflake with a knife. Acting is an interesting one in my opinion. You can check, that will just give you some info about winter. Yes, winter. I don't want to hear anything about it in the comments. <laughs> 
If you talk, you get into a bullet hell dodging game because Winter ignores you talking with him. Next round, talk will become reason, then it will become plead, then scream, and then finally help. And they get progressively more scary. No, desperate. Yeah, desperate is a better word. Insult is just there because I wanted it to be there. Because I had to hold back with snow and ice puns for the sake of atmosphere. So I just added a, you tell winter that it is your least favorite season. But yeah, ice and snow puns would have been ice to implement. Sparing and escaping both do nothing except tell you why you can't spare or the escape. And as the music, because everything is secretly synced to the music, begins to become slower and weaker, the fight ends and you can see Frisk, Kara, whoever, lying on the floor, dead. Choked on a twig bar. You can see Winter fleeing out of the scene as new snowflakes begin from the sky. <laughs> and while drawing the dead Frisk sprite, I actually made it look like Frisk was really pissed off about something like, Ah, oh, not this again. This happens every time. But see, Max, where is the theme now? Well, I told you to play the game. Anyway, the theme lies in the text and effects, because everything keeps getting more shakier and this blue gradient gets more visible over time and becomes faster. And in the code it's actually white, so I can make it green, red, any color I want, but I thought blue actually kind of fits. All this is accompanied by the fact that your soul gets slower and slower the colder it becomes, but your brain still wants to dodge the bullets. And finally, the player can feel how they run out of time and while everything tells the player to do something, nothing works. As we already discussed, you can do whatever you want in this game, it will always be that one single ending because humans tend to get extremely stressed out and even begin to panic when their choices obviously don't matter. In this little game, this becomes very obvious. I hope. Not sure. After all, this was a really, really fun experience. And if you have some kind of interest or just want to start making games, just do it. Because it's definitely, definitely worth it. Thank you for watching, and I will probably make a video in the near future about me playing some videos from the jam, because I want to give feedback to the people that make games. And if you have a game that you want me to play and give feedback on, you can uh, fill out a form in the description, and I will check it out. So, see you around.